Hello everyone and welcome to Cyber War. I've been scrolling Twitter and I uh, ended up in a big rabbit hole. Uh, it looks like Overture Maps released an aggregate uh, data set of points of interest, an aggregate of Microsoft Bing Maps, Meta Places, and uh, OpenStreetMap. So in this video we'll look at what we know so far of this uh, overture map release and see what we can do with it uh, although by the looks of it it's, it's a very large da data set so we won't probably be able to extract anything today but let's let's have a look so I, I saw this tweet initially um, so already in the comments on Twitter People are asking the real questions. Uh, how can we download them? Um, if you look in the release, uh, there is a process you can use to download them. Um, you have four types of data. Admin, meaning like administrative things like localities or whatever. Buildings, places, and transportation. And they are either on Amazon S3 or on Microsoft Azure and they recommend using Athena or AWS Synapse for SQL or install DuckDB on your own machine and uh, use that or you can download uh, the files directly um, now let's have a look so for example, the places have this schema and they seem to be very rich in data like email, socials. This is going to be an amazing resource for OSINT, for for everything. Like Once this is uh, easy to parse, I can't even imagine how, how great this would be. Um, I'll try to grab it and uh, maybe make a torrent or something, I don't know, I'll figure it out. This is the for localities. Okay. Let me close this a bit. So this is what we know so far. This is DuckDB. Apparently you can install this. Um, and it works with uh, Python and other things. They have a discussion board where people are asking questions. They're already asking for an easier way to download. All right, so they want somebody to provide a map, which is normal. Um, so it's Microsoft and Facebook. What's missing here is Google Maps. Okay. And what we did, because it, it was hard for me to tell like how big this data is, so I I just visited the S3 bucket to figure it out. And apparently you can then download this XML file and you put it into code parser and for example these are the sizes like for, for each row a few megs each So let's see if this works as we wanted. Okay. So um, okay, but you see, it kind of cuts it here, so you, you can't really use ChatGPT for this. 
because it, it has this cutoff, but it doesn't matter. Like you, um, you access it directly, and I'm just curious. Can we find some places here? What does this mean exactly? Can I just do this or? Oh. So this I just downloaded um, 653 megabytes. of something for transportation okay so this is okay 684 million this is these are megabytes okay let's find something smaller um, this is 138 buildings no I want places Let's try this. We're not seeing it, but Firefox actually downloaded it already. Okay, I'm trying to find the place to put it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch the. the software to film a folder on my computer so that we can look at uh, what's happening I think it uh, it shows the folder now I made a folder for it Alright, so the first one is 600 megabytes, but I don't know what it is, I mean, it's... let's try to extract it, and it cannot open file, Isaac. Okay, so, what are these things? Let me switch back to the browser. Alright, so I managed to download the files, but they are, I'm on my Windows machine I, and I'm not really good at determining that. So download the parking and then do what with it. So this is the process to access the data, okay. Okay, so parquet files, whatever that means. I tried to open one in Notepad++, but uh, it's problematic. So, um, 
yeah, we, we can't just look at the files directly. Um, but we can actually download all of them and then we see what we do with them. Um, for example, here they show us how to download all of them. And then what? It is available in Cloud Native Parquet. Okay, so... I need to read up about this a bit. Um, as soon as I find a, a solution to... Probably we should actually use what they are saying here. We should use like the, the software they are recommending. And um, I'll let you know. Uh, basically, this is it. It's a big deal. Um, I'm not sure what problems there are in the database because with so many data points, it's bound to have some interesting stuff in there. Um, I understand it's all text with some polygons and some uh, like, but no images or anything else. Still, all text is very good. It seems like there's going to be a lot of emails and a lot of phones. So, yeah, interesting times ahead. Uh, thank you all for watching and uh, please subscribe if you want new scientist development. So, this is the repo. Do we have anything here? Discussions. Thank you for watching.